Hi, this is Jody again. I'm going to show you another part of Capture the Flag series. I was playing this Capture the Flag and it was about reverse engineering Android softwares. I didn't have much prior knowledge about it, but studied and it was fun. Let's see how we can reverse engineer an Android APK. Uh, the first challenge I'm going to show you is this evil eye. You should look through the evil eye to see the flag. And there is only one APK file. No clue, no hint, no much information. So you can download this APK, install it on your phone, your test phone, never run. Although during the CTFs, they don't do anything bad with their software. But anyway, who knows? So it's better to run it on an emulator or a test phone you have, just like this one. Okay, let's try the CTF camera. It's a normal camera. I can take a photo, I think. It says, okay, you took the photo. Do you want to retry or it's okay? It's okay. It's recorded the photo very low resolution but let's do the reverse engineering and see what it has done okay no much not much clue it took a photo if you want to reverse engineer it you can switch to your Kali the reason I'm using is Kali is not because I'm a big hacker it's because I'm using Android I'm using Mac and I'm a Mac I don't have APK tools and this kind of stuff so it's easier just to switch to a virtual machine running Kali. CD downloads. Here I have the files. It's good to know that all the APK files are practically zip files. If you unzip them, you will see that may, you may need to change the extension to the zip. And if you unzip them, you will see that there is a DEX file, which are the files being run by the uh, your Android machine or virtual machine. Java virtual machine on your Android, I think is the most correct annotation. Uh, but we will use the APK tool. We'll decompile or whatever it is, this file. It will give you a directory with the files included in this APK. See, CTF camera, you can do the open. It will open it here. And you will have different files which are included in this package. One of the most important ones for us most of the times is Smalley. Smalley files are kind of a Java Virtual Machine assembly code or something like this. I'm not an expert in this area. Whatever program this software is running is here and it's like a Android code. For example, if you go to I.O., whatever, wherever you go, at the end you will reach some Smalley codes. And here you can open it with an editor and you see it's like a uh android code uh assembly code for java virtual machine x or this constant this jump here move this but reading this is very difficult not very if you start reading it it's understandable but we have a software which is much easier to work with it is called jadx gui this can uh, decode this assembly to the Java. See, this is much easier to understand what it does. It's a random helper. It will return a random number based on the uh, seed you give it. Okay, next. It will get a long and will return you another random, semi-random number. Anyway, we want to find our CTF, so what I will do is... I will do a grep on the CTF on all files to see if I can find a related string. It will return back lots of things with the CTF camera in them, but also it will show me the Smalley.com Android CTF camera. This is the name of our software. So, and main activity is the main activity on Android. So this should be the file we are looking for. Let's go for it. Smalley come Android CTF camera. Smalley come Android CTF camera. This is the main software which is being run using that. This is how you reverse engineer the 
APK files. Source code is this one. It has different things. A class, main activity is a good start. It says, okay, when main activity starts, uncreate, do this. It's an image. If version is lower than 23, return, request for the permission, and everything. Unresume, do the unresume. On request permission result, do this. On activity result, do this from the A class, save the image. So we will go to the A class, what A class does. It says byte treats a compressed format JPEG, then it will generate something. What does generate do? We have to check. And then it copy the files into the uh, bytes of the JPEG and then write it to the file. If there is no UUTCTF, it will create a directory. Then it will write the file. So what does generate do? Generate will do this. Generate. There is an array, 17, 17, 16.8. Unfortunately, my copy paste doesn't work, but not a big deal. Ah, it works inside the Kali, so I can open another Kali window. Uh, let's see if we have IPython here. We don't have it. Ah, we have IPython 3. Good. I will say, okay, A equals this. Those Ds are not needed. I'm trying to redo what they are doing in the Java program. Ouch. Okay, this is A. Then they will go through one by one and will add the str with the convert of D. What does convert do? Convert is two string. Ah, multiply it to 10, then divide it to 2, which is practically <laughs> multiplied to 5. Let's try it. I will say, okay, for i in a, for each a, print uh, i divided, sorry, multiplied by 5. That's it. It will give you some numbers. See what is interesting here. The flag is in UUTC format. It always says UUTC something. So, UUTC CTF. This is same as this. So UUTC CTF. Looks like. Anyway, let's print the equivalent character. I will the int. See? U U T C T F. So somehow it's creating a flag. Afterwards, this is the first part. Then it adds the get application info. Load label package name. So it's adding the package name to this and then writing the file. I move the file. I show you. Here, this is a file. Some core is passing. See what I can do here? I can say strings UUTCTF2. This is the file. Strings will look into the file and show you the strings it finds inside it. UUTCTF, CTF camera. This is the answer to that question. So I have to copy this and answer back. String is very useful. Most of the people when playing CTFs or even cracking something, the first thing they do is they do strings, the file they are looking into to see what interesting strings they can see inside it. You can also do with OD, octal dump. Show all the characters you find. Normally it will just show you the octal values, but this way it will show you the uh, characters which are human readable. So you can see at the end it has UUTCTF and because it's in the JPEG format, this doesn't break the 
JPEG itself. It just reduces a little bit of the quality. So this is the answer. Normally I have to copy this answer. Go here and say, okay, evil's eye. The answer is this. It says, okay, you already solved this. Thank you. Thanks for being with me. This was an easy one. Let's go for a more complicated one. See you.